From now on, paranoia grows in Ying Zhen's mind. For the rest of his reign, images of death haunt his dreams. It isn't so much the act of dying he fears, but the realization that he is filling the spirit world with the souls of those he sacrificed. Souls who will all, as soon as he is dead, seek terrible revenge. There is only one thing that can protect him in the next world. A spirit army. Since the moment he became king, Ying Jen has planned for his own death. A tomb is being constructed, which by tradition will contain replicas of his most precious possessions, including his army. Hmm, good. That tradition will continue. Very good. But on a scale no one has ever seen before. How big is this supposed to be? Well, it's a simple question. How big is this going to be? One of the most incredible aspects of the terracotta army is size. Not just the army itself, but every member of it. Each figure measures nearly two meters tall, an army of giants by the standards of the time. <laughs> 